what's happening magnesites um i wanted to do this video because you know i'm going through my facebook today and, you know you see these posts and this this post really got to me and it's the post in the thumbnail and you see how it's the little baby looks like it's a little girl wearing a, um you know one of those medical masks and everything and her little head cover says um you know cancer fears jesus and I see little things like this all the time on Facebook from time to time, and I always want to comment on it, but I never do. So I'm going to comment on them now, you know, and it's just because I'm, I'm really getting tired of seeing people die in ignorance all the time. And the fact of the matter is, the little Habandana said cancer fears Jesus. Cancer does not give a damn about Jesus. Cancer is not scared of Jesus whatsoever. If that was the case, out of all the Christians that get diagnosed with terminal cancer and they pray in Jesus' name to be um, cured in total faith, then they would be alive today. The fact of the matter is, go look up the numbers on how many people die of cancer every year. And a ton of them are Christians, okay? So, cancer does not fear Jesus. Heart disease does not fear Jesus, okay? Psoriasis does not fear Jesus, all right? Uh, a fatty liver does not fear Jesus. Disease, period, does not fear Jesus, okay? But what disease does fear, okay, is knowledge, all right, is good health. It embraces ignorance, okay? Be, uh, you know, there were t there was a time, you know, you guys all know about the bloodletting in old times, and you know about the whole, like, I've read about how in the old days, like medieval times, if I got a cut and it was pussy, they would have me rub my pus on your cut if you got cut because it was literally God's angels fighting inside of your body, um, the demons inside of you. That's what it was. So if I got an infected cut and I got pus and I died a few days later and I just gave you some pus, you would die a few days later after me sometimes. Yeah, I guess the angels lost the fucking battle. Listen to me, people. Disease fears knowledge. The one thing you can do to prevent disease is to protect and educate yourself on the greatest gift that God, the universe, whoever you want to say, gave you. And that is your mind and body. That's this one singular thing that you have is to educate yourself on how to properly protect it and keep you free from disease, illness, and sickness, okay? And you can do this every day. You can read a little bit every single day. You do not have to just listen to what a fucking doctor says. You can cure yourself of many diseases, all right? And for those of you who don't think I'm telling the truth, there's plenty of you that know guys that can work on cars and that can fix your car just as well as any licensed mechanic at Moe's Garage down the street. Just because he doesn't have his license doesn't mean he hasn't been working on engines all his life, okay? You can educate yourself just as much as the doctors. Many of the doctors are so book read and tested that they're, they're just trained to do these certain things. They don't have a true knowledge of how the body truly works, okay? If medical mistakes, look it up. If medical mistakes were a disease, they would be the fifth largest cause of death in the United States. I'm not going to say it again. Go and do the research on your gift, okay? On what is truly yours in this world, your own mind and body, and you will live a long, healthy life. If there's a God out there that truly cares, he also wants you to be educated, okay? He doesn't just want you to just, oh, this guy said this, and this doctor said that, this, you know. No, your doctors, your lawyers, your accountants, all these people out there, 
They are your advisors. And that's what they do. They advise. In the end, the choice is yours. You control all of this. You control your finances and everything else. Just remember that. You're the one that has total control over your life, your mind, and body. Not them. Your doctor's orders? Fuck doctor's orders. The doctor advised that I do this. I didn't like his idea. So I decided to do this. Okay? Let me tell you something else. I had a problem when my mom, um, you know, she had had a, she had gotten a seizure. She, and they told me that she was going to die in less than a week. And this is when she had cancer and everything. And, um, you know, she, um, the doctors tried to urge me. They tried to advise me. They tried to tell me to let her go, to pull the plug. And I said, I'm not killing my mother. There's no way I, she's going to die at my fucking hands. Okay. Now that. Is a sensitive subject for a lot of people, but for me, sorry about that, y'all. My phone got cut off. But anyway, like I said, for me, she was not dying at my hands. I didn't believe that she would not come out of that coma she was in after she went into the seizure. So I refused to pull the plug. And guess what? She came out in less than a week and she lived two more months before the kidney failure um, actually took her life. Okay, it wasn't the cancer that actually killed her, it was kidney failure. And I still have my questions about them taking her off of the kidney dialysis. They said that the cancer was interfering with how the kidney dialysis was performing and that it wasn't working anymore. I get the feeling that they killed my mother on fucking purpose because of money, but I can't prove it. And I didn't know her condition well enough to understand whether the machines, the dialysis machines were still working. So whatever on that for now. But you see what I'm saying? If I had taken the doctor's orders, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy my mother in my life for another two months before she finally passed. So doctor's orders, they can kiss my ass. Okay, make your own decisions. Go with your internal clock, your internal compass, your moral compass. Okay, because that is what's truly going to guide you. So I'm going to end this. Continue to educate yourself, people, on your own body and stop taking everybody's advice on everything else. All right. Talk to y'all later.